Notre Dame semifinal win over Connecticut and how they found shooters, how they moved in concert with one another on the defensive end. Mabry finds Young on the oh, break. Green only has three. Ogumbole makes it 6 0. What an impact she made when she came give back. Vic Schaefer some good minutes tonight on the defensive end. Westbell got too far underneath. Here is the speedy Danbury. Right on cue to get the three feet goal. away. Ogumbole. Westbell, the Ohio native. That moment with Kobe tweet you is pretty special. <laughs> I know you see the name. <laughs> One of us can talk about being with Kobe Bryant in a tweet as Shepard scores for Notre Dame. That's you, Holly Rowe. Only you get that Every type. Time you tweet of me, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Literally the only person I think that reacts to such. <laughs> Tierra McCowan on the board for Mississippi yes. State. Rowe Johnson back in the game for Mississippi State. Offensive rebound, McCowan. They're staying out of foul trouble. Vivian's another steal. Got it to go. Uh, a 6'7 player much bigger than she is. I love that 6'4 can be considered undersized in this game. <laughs> Tierra oh, McCowan. I don't care what farm you live on. <laughs> this kid can play. Avery with the step. National Championship coverage on TBS begins at 7 p.m. Eastern. For more information, go to NCAA.com. Morgan William gives Mississippi Blanks. State its first. In the victory against UConn the other night. The all-time leading scorer in Indiana State history. Schaefer hits a three. What an effort by McCowan on the deck. They go smaller with a Gumba Wale checking in for Shepard. Victoria Vivians has eight for Miss. Here's McCowan. Gets it to go. A transfer from Nebraska was granted eligibility hours before their first exhibition game this year. Ogumbawale knocked it free, but Vivians recovers to finish. Fit away. The Irish still haven't scored in the second quarter. They need a bucket now. Shepard draws the contact. Much needed for Notre Dame. Jeff, Jess Shepard. She's back in the game, having another perimeter scorer, someone else that can attack. That should help Notre Dame offensively. For Shepard. She cannot let the go completely at it in the first half because she can't risk her players getting into foul trouble. Mabry draws the contact from Schaefer. Good start to the second half. Defensive pressure. What do you guys have to do to be more effective and move the ball how you want to? Um, I need to stop turning the ball over. Uh, I'm taking possession away from our team, so uh, that's number one. And number two, I think we just need to um, hold our ground and get open better and execute what we want to execute um, instead of worried about who's in front of us. I remember back to the Tennessee game. You were down big. You guys have said that was the turning point in your season. In January, Why does this that was the first game where she really ran point guard for Notre Dame. Ogumbawale hits. talked about the success that Notre Dame has had in the second half defensively throughout the course of the season when they can change things up and be more aggressive. You see the difference, about nine point difference between first and second half for their opponents. William has three fouls but still on the floor. Vic Schaefer left. Don't let them pump you this half. Schaefer hits her second three. It feels like she's going to have to have a productive second half. Vivians. 
17 for the senior. Is it giving it up? Vivian's a little bit of a heat check shot there. A deep three. What a pass by Ogumba Wale to Westbell. It sure was. Ogumba Wale aggressive. Gets that one to fall. Schaefer can't connect. Ogumba Wale. Young to tie it. Shepard. Dribble drive, take you one on one offense. Shepard in the post against Vivians. And Notre Dame has its first lead since the first quarter. Ogumba Wale posting here. She'll take it and give Notre Dame the lead. I think that's just called a Goomba Wale, that offensive set. That's a pro <laughs> move right there, yeah, what she is. did, that little step back, that was nice. Vivian's into traffic, got it to go. An eight minute field goal drought ends for Mississippi State. Mabry was juggling and recovered to get it to Nell. Shepard got her own miss. Vivians. McCowan. The game needs some more spacing to create some room for Big T or an open three. McCowan with the putback. A five out there for the Irish. Shepard got loose. But she has Holes. been lost it. Four to shoot. Johnson for three. Got it. A minute 40 remaining. Shepard to Mabry for three. What a response! Mabry and William with contact as Mabry was going for the ball. Young bakes it in to tie the game! Tonight. Two timeouts and still one foul to give for Mississippi State. Young to inbound, Westbelt, Shepard, Mabry, and Ogumbawale, and Vic Schaefer. That's where I'm going if I'm Notre Dame. And this morning, what did Muffet McGraw do in her shoot-around? She worked on this exact late-game situation and carry out of this play, they have an option to go directly into Jessica Shepard. McCowan has to watch from the bench. Three seconds for a national championship or overtime. Ogumbawale for the win. Good! Arike Ogumbawale wins the national championship for Notre Dame. Enrique does it again, and the Irish do it again for the first time in 17 years. Inbound the ball. Well, the only thing you can do is try to draw, draw a charge or draw a foul before the ball comes in.
17 years to the day, the Notre Dame Fighting Irish win their second national championship. What an incredible weekend in Columbus, Ohio. And it ends with the Irish hoisting the title on this shot. Two dribbles and a foul to give. And that, I think, is what Vic Schaefer is going to be thinking about every time he sees the replay of this amazing Agumbawale shot. How many players in their entire career get the opportunity to do what Agumba Wale did in Columbus this weekend. Making a shot to win the game against the number one team in the country in the University of Connecticut in the semifinals. And then for a national championship for the Notre Dame Fighting Irish, it was Agumba Wale for the second time and it was true as soon as it left her hand. And look at that face from Muffet McGraw. Pure elation. Her parents named her Orike. It means to see and to cherish. Plenty to see and a lot to cherish for the Irish tonight. Let's go over to Holly Rowe. For the second straight game, you do the impossible to many, but you don't think it's impossible. Why? I mean, I work for this in practice. I practice late game all the time. Me and Marina always in the gym, counting down. So I don't know it just felt right. Your coach, there were three seconds left. What was that timeout like? And what was she asking you to do as you took the floor with those seconds ticking away? I mean, we wanted to try to get a matchup in the ball with Jess, but they were really covering her. They knew we were trying to throw it in. So I just ran to Jackie. I was like, throw it to me, throw it to me. Kobe said that you hadn't completed the job yet. What do you have to say to Kobe now? It's over. The job is over. Mama you guys mentality. are looking at the go right here. Shout out Kobe. That's two in a row. Shout out Kobe. <laughs> you guys had so much adversity. What do you think at the end of the day is inside of your team that allowed you to be here for this moment? Coach McGraw recruits players like this. Actually, I have a shout out. If anybody is thinking what's going to go through, go to Notre Dame. This is what we do. National champs right here. Thank you, Enrique. Thank you. The legend of Arike Ogumbawale solidified in Columbus, Ohio tonight.